Okay, now we're back to the collar. And we have basted the under collar on. And we checked to make sure. And we'll check again that our corners match. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to go to the inside and the upper collar. We're going to baste in place. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we are at the gorge line. And we're going to make everything just kiss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's getting to be about that time, isn't it? Okay, see, it's just kissing. I feel like I'm losing my ear. right to our basting line the rest of the way around. So I'm going to go to the other side first. Always one side, the other side, work your way to the middle. I can't tell you how important it is to have a good needle. I'm struggling with this one. It's not good. All right, let's go to the other side, the other gorge line. Seam just kiss. it right to my basting line.
after this is complete, now I'll be ready to kanji little recording. All right, the collar is all basted on and the front. And now, by hand, we're going to permanently stitch this on. Okay? So, for the under collar, and I'm going to do this with the basting thread. You're going to do it with the regular thread, waxed thread, okay? I'm just going to do a little bit of it just so you can see what the stitches are doing, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so, I'll have to take it out later? Well, you'll, yes. Yes. Um, first, I'm going to come to the gorge line, and on the inside here, I want to permanently stitch that gorge line to the tape. You see, can you see the white thread now? Of course, I want, really want. It's kind of underneath it, see? All mm -hmm. right. And then after you do that, like I said, we're going to take this out because you want this out of your strong thread. Um, then I want to sew this gorge line with a ladder stitch. Okay? And how you're going to do the ladder sketch, stitch, the goal is to make it look like it was sewn by machine. You know, like a seam that was sewed and then pressed open. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to anchor it real good here at the beginning of the gorge line. This, I tell you, you, you have a, th these needles are bad. Hand stitching needles, and I don't dare bring my needles here. Okay, now ladder stitch. See, I'm going to go right across. Tiny, tiny stitches. Do you see where I'm going back and forth? Mm hmm. And then, and you don't want to pull it too, too tight. But the point is, you see, if I open up the seam, you mm -hmm. see it looks like a ladder. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's called a ladder stitch. See, and that will make it permanently stitched there, all right? Mm -hmm. um, when you get past the gorge line, you can go on into a slip stitch. Do you see where I'm slipping the needle through and catching the under collar? Once again, with thread matching, you should see just... It's not going to, you, you know, you won't see the stitches at all. Okay? Mm -hmm. All the way around. Then we'll go to the under collar. And here, make sure there's small stitches. And you're going to do like a blanket stitch, like a small blanket stitch. Once again, I'm going to do it with the basting thread, but it needs to be your regular thread waxed. I, just for the sake of the video, I think you can see the white better. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're going to do like a blanket stitch here. And I'm going to do it on this part. You're going to start here, of course. But you're going to... And, you know, tight small stitches, you see. Mm -hmm. See how that kind of starting to look like a small blanket stitch? Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course with the red that matches, it looks... It will be invisible. Yes, pretty much. Okay. That all the way around. <coughs> when you're done, make sure you check that both sides match. And we will have completed the collar.